Welcome to NTN Nightly. I am Janelle Novel. This edition's top stories. The Parliament of St. Lucia receives support from the Embassy of Taiwan for the strengthening of security systems. Minister for Equity, Honorable Joachim Henry, lays out plans for the Boys Training Center. And St. Lucia's beauty with a purpose shines to the world. The Parliament of St. Lucia is earmarked for security enhancement following financial support from the Embassy of Taiwan in St. Lucia. Hermody Mark reports. The government of Taiwan continues to deepen diplomatic ties with the government and people of St. Lucia. This was exemplified in its latest gesture of funding the strengthening of security systems at the Parliament of St. Lucia. At a recent handing over ceremony, Ambassador of Taiwan to St. Lucia, His Excellency Peter Chen, presented a check to the President of the Senate, Senator Honorable Stanley Felix. Uh, it's a pleasure uh, for me to make a donation uh, today on behalf of the people and government of Taiwan towards the establishment of an electronic entry control system for the Parliament compound. And the bond of friendship and support between Taiwan and St. Lucia, especially between two peoples and two parliaments, have been long-standing and mutually beneficial. St. Lucia's Senate President, Senator Honorable Stanley Felix, expressing gratitude to the government of Taiwan for their continued support, called for the country's inclusion around the table of international diplomacy. We do, by this gesture, demonstrate our strongest support for Taiwan, and we recognize Taiwan's right to be included around the table of international diplomacy. We support Taiwan's inclusion in organizations such as the World Health Organization, Interpol, United Nations and many other organizations that are important in forming and forging international relations and policies that affect people around the world. The Senate President said he looks forward to the further strengthening of ties between Taiwan and St. Lucia. From the Government Information Service, Hilmadi Mark reporting. Emphasis is being placed on the importance of men and boys to our society as St. Lucia joins over 80 countries in celebrating International Men's Day on November 19. The observance recognizes and aims to address issues faced by men and boys, including the improvement of male health, tackling discrimination, and fostering positive gender relations. During a sitting of Senate on Thursday, Senator Alvina Reynolds acknowledged the value of men to the society. Senator Reynolds also called on men in leadership to do more to influence and guide the male population. I wish all senators in this space happy International Men's Day. All men who make positive contributions, but I also challenge my St. Lucian brothers. I also challenge the senators in here to step up continue to step up and step forward and help another brother, help other brothers to be not a good example, but the best examples by words and actions, not only for men, but for boys. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Equity, Social Justice and Empowerment is allocating resources to the rehabilitation and well-being of the wards of the Boys Training Center. Minister for Equity, Social Justice and Empowerment, Honorable Joachim Henry, made the announcement during Tuesday's sitting of the House of Assembly. Honorable Henry indicated that the government is dedicated to providing the necessary support to aid the advancement of the center. The Boys Training Center has been the focus of intermittent media attention for some time. In light of this, and given the ministry's commitment to the existence of an environment conducive to rehabilitation, the ministry is in the process of revisiting the operations of the Boys Training Center towards restructuring and reprogramming for overall improvement. 
in the immediate, the legal and policy framework which supports the center operations will be re reviewed and updated as necessary. Operational processes will be enhanced and staffing arrangement will be reviewed and deficiencies will be addressed. Mr. Speaker, this government, on the principle of putting people first, we are putting the young wards who are in the care of the state, we are putting them first. The move to improve the operations of the center includes plans for the relocation of the facility. The ministry will also engage, or we have engaged last week the Caribbean Development Bank with respect to the relocation of the boys training center, as well as revamping the programs that we are offering. Initial talks, which took place in 2020, which were deferred as a result of COVID-19, will be back. And as the CDB has indicated, we will consider all other options, including repurposing of a school for the boys' training center, which is a lot cheaper than, a, than constructing a very large building as what obtains currently. Minister for Equity, Social Justice and Empowerment, Honorable Joachim Henry. St. Lucia's representative to the 2021 Miss World pageant, Tyler Theophan, leaves the island for Puerto Rico this weekend. We hear more in this report produced by coordinating agency Event St. Lucia. After five months of intense preparation, St. Lucia's representative to the 2021 Miss World pageant, Tyler Theophan, leaves the island for Puerto Rico this Saturday, November 20th. Tyler's preparation for the Miss World pageant included fitness training, skin, body, and hair care, massage therapy, elocution, interview techniques, and vocal training. Her promotional activities included the Talk to Tyler radio series on the wave and her head-to-head -head interviews with key partners. As a Miss World contestant, Tyler was required to undertake a philanthropic project through the Beauty with a Purpose initiative. A signature project is the building of a house for a single mother of two boys. The three-bedroom dwelling house is being constructed on lands provided by Invest St. Lucia in Opicon, V4. True Value Building and Hardware Supplies contributed building materials to the project. Managing Director Deborah Tobier said once approached, she had no hesitation getting on board. As a company that is very big on corporate social responsibility, we felt it necessary to partner. We have, as a matter of fact, um, done a couple of initiatives like this ourselves over the years. So our contribution was in, of course, a cash donation towards the material supply as well as discounted supply on the other items that I, I believe were sponsored by other corporate partners. Jessica Gaia, the single mother for whom the house is being built, was visibly emotional and thankful for the gift of a new home for herself and her two sons. I want to thank everybody, ECSL, everybody, the government and the people around, everybody there. I want to thank you all so much because I, don't, I never knew someday like that would come for me. I thank you, I thank God, I thank Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I'm so excited and I can't even really believe that happening. So thank you, thank you everybody. Laris Construction provided a backhoe for site clearance. Bryson Company provided steel and roofing. St. Lou Metal and Plastics donated doors and windows for the project. Labor was provided by the Sufra Regional Development Foundation through Cow Construction. Harris Paints worked with Tyler to formulate her unique color blend called Tyler's Blush. They have supplied several gallons of Tyler's Blush to paint the new house. Tyler joined the ECSL staff for Kudme in the early stages of the construction. In true St. Lucian style, music, food and laughter made the work so much lighter. The government of St. Lucia is continuing with its ethos of putting people first. Central to this is the economic empowerment of the youth. Prime Minister the Honorable Philip J. Pierce says the creation of a Department of Youth Economy is intended to invest in the talents, skills and ideas of young people. Minister in the Ministry of Finance, Economic Development and Youth Economy, Honorable Wayne Girard, indicated that the government of St. Lucia is soon to launch the youth economy, which will provide an avenue for the youth to engage in economic ventures 
that they enjoy by making the resources available for their utilization. Mr. Speaker, equally, I have the honor of working closely with the Prime Minister. A Prime Minister not interested in casting judgment on one's pedigree, but rather in your integrity, your skills, your talents, and your passion. And that is why, in the coming days, the Prime Minister will be launching our Youth Economy Initiative with a grant of $5 million from the Republic of China, Taiwan. The Youth Economy will address the special interests of all young people in economic activities that embrace sports, entertainment, creative industries, science, information technology, and other areas of youth interest. Honorable Girard expressed gratitude to the government and people of Taiwan for their continued support and contribution to the development of St. Lucia. No young person needs to fear about the future. Your fired up mind is a powerful resource. We do all of this, Mr. Speaker, to guard against the risk of our young people becoming long-term unemployed. At that point, it becomes far more difficult to engage meaningfully. Let me take this opportunity, Mr. Speaker, to extend the profound gratitude of the government and people of St. Lucia to the government and people of the Republic of China, Taiwan, for the contribution and the continued support and friendship. Minister in the Ministry of Finance, Economic Development and Youth Economy, Honorable Wayne Girard. This is NTN Nightly. Primus Hutchinson is up next. Stay with us. One of the eight universally recognized rights of the consumer is the right to satisfaction of basic needs. This means that every consumer has the right to basic goods and services that guarantee survival. This right includes adequate food, clothing, shelter, healthcare, education, water, and sanitation. Welcome back. We join Primus Hutchinson for the NTN Nouvelle Creole. Monsieur Tain Genel, Monsieur Madame Department qui nous responsabilité pour information en gouvernement cette ci ça c'est GIS à service télévision national pays NTN, qu'a pour cette nouvelle en Creole pour cette Primus Hutchinson. Ministère de Santé qu'a continué pour trouver support pour aider yo en bataille contre maladie corona. Recentement, le ministre de la Santé, Honorable Bossé Jean-Baptiste, était présent à des petites cérémonies côté Conseil général Martinique, en collaboration et puis saint louis Distillers, fait le ministère de la Santé avoir 15 boîtes, il y a un morceau d'équipement qui a mesuré la l'homme oxygène qui y a un monde ni à des dents. Honorable Jean-Baptiste, c'est très appréciable pour ce poste là pour le gouvernement Martinique. À ce et puis les officiers compagnie saint louis Distillers. Nous avons qui a cadeau ça là, l'année en 500 qui qui saint louis Distillers by l'année en 100 qui en compagnie sorti en France by avec aussi um, l'année en haut 46 côté Jean Martinique même by cadeau pour Jean cette ici. Comme ça nous avons merci saint louis Distillers, nous avons merci Monsieur Loïc Leger. Avec nous, nous avons tout Jean Martinique avec Jean France. Comme on dit, là, nous avons fait la COVID-19. Um, nous savons que nous avons fait la COVID-19. Nous avons fait la COVID-19 pour faire l'alcool et pour faire la COVID-19. Avec nous, nous avons fait la COVID-19. Nous avons fait la COVID-19. Pour qu'on finisse avec toute assistance, nous avons fait la COVID-19. Les gens qui ont fait le business privé, ils sont bons parce que nous avons fait la COVID-19. Nous avons fait la COVID-19 pour faire la COVID-19. Selon le ministre de la Santé, Jean-Baptiste, ce n'est pas le seulement, mais le gouvernement, c'est aussi, aussi très appréciable pour ces cadeaux là qui sont très importants pour abattre la maladie corona. Le gouvernement apprécie ça, et moi, ça, le premier ministre, tout le cabinet là qui apprécie ça. Je veux dire, dernièrement, que nous ne pouvons continuer à combattre les affaires COVID-19 là. Parce que c'est le mois qui descend, ça bon pour saint ici, mais nous ne pouvons pas arriver à la bataille là. Là, c'est bien ça, ça vient monter encore. Si nous ne faisons pas fait ça, nous ne pouvons pas faire. Avec si nous ne prenons pas le vaccin, comme ça, je vais encourager tout le monde qui ne prend pas le vaccin pour aller prendre le vaccin. 
avec mettez à distance, mettez masque, lavez la main, avec faire tout ça, c'est docteur, avec ministre santé cadeau pour faire pour nous ni un primaire cette ici. Y en a ces bills qui les les membres sénat sénat là présenté et approuvé, trouvez bonne félicitation par les membres sénateurs gouvernement. Y en l'offre fond national des affaires économiques pour cette ici. T'es trouvé approuvé devant la session Sénat jeudi bon matin. L'eau font ça là, c'est pour le gouvernement servir en secours et bien situation subitement. Selon le sénateur à sous façade gouvernement, ça c'est honorable Kedjian Tousse Chalry, situation à présent, j'ai changé. Et c'est go agence internationale, pas capable pour aider quoi avant en résultat de la pandémie Corona. Yo panique alte la geste ça là encore because covid 19 point en chaya de ces la geste ça là et quand chaya de ces fonds ça là a affecté so nous ni pour à bois regarder qui ça qui a existé dans pays nous côté nous ça joine un petit cacadan un petit l'argent un petit manière pour nous ça un de situation en dedans pays nous Second Parlement, en ministère des Affaires et Éducation, ça c'est le sénateur Dr. Pauline Antoine Prosper, qui a de manière à l'offre de ça, ça a aidé divers projets de gouvernement, particulièrement les projets d'éducation, côté plusieurs les étudiants qui ont trouvé bénéfice. Et le gouvernement a fait un chai en un seul jour pour aider les parents. Nous savons que les gens ont et maman et papa qui ont tué. Pour yon aide, ma maïo. Premier ministre, cette ici, j'ai trouvé bonne félicitation pour dégouer sa gouvernement j'ai accompli pour premier 100 jours qui ont en pouvoir. Ce ministre des Affaires touristiques et représentatif pour façade sud-est, Castui, honorable Dr. Ernest Hillet, qui dit ça. Selon Dr. Hillet, le pays a venu plus stable à présent. Durant la présentation en Kaye Parlement, Dr. Hillet a déclaré que le Premier ministre, euh, honorable Uh, Premier ministre Pierre, j'ai encouragé pour plus citoyens pour participer à l'effort pour le développement national. Et aussi, ces divers représentatifs à Kaïkonsit ont déjà présenté tout ça que j'ai accompli pour 100 jours depuis le pouvoir. Donc, il a déclaré que le gouvernement gouvernement pas parfait et qu'il fait les ouais, qu'on n'est pas ni le gay pour avoir qui a fait les ouais. Et il dit que le Premier ministre là, j'ai averti que depuis les ouais, fait, il faut accepter la responsabilité et pour lui et pour lui et qui déclare que yo c'est un gouvernement pour toutes ces lycéens et qui n'a pas une préférence pour y en passer l'autre parce que nous toutes c'est ces lycéens et c'est comme ça nous avons fait la nouvelle amie madame moi quand même c'est autant pour regarder moi quand bon invitation pour je ne puis moi encore c'est dire conserver la vie de ne pas être l'autre nouvelle à créole à présent Bon, avec, avant de présenter Janelle, je vous encore un bon finissement de semaine et comme toujours cadeau pour toutes les précautions qui nécessaire contre la maladie corona. Après ça, je vous remercie pour cette Janelle. Merci à Bill Primus. That brings us to the end of NTN Nightly. Join us next time at 7 p.m. with a repeat at 7 a.m. You can also catch up with us anytime on the St. Lucia Government Facebook page or YouTube channel. I am Janelle Norville.